kisses. Welcome back to Nina Number to Eats. Today I am with Eat with Patrick Blacker. What's going on, y'all? And today we're gonna be having some sushi quick prayer and we get right into it. You ready? Absolutely. Okay, ready? Amen. Let's get Amen. it. First off, I have the spicy chicken ramen. And uh you can have my egg, by the way. I I, I don't eat eggs, but my ramen. I'll take it. Oh, 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 you got it. it, you got I'll just it. i pass it because... Hey. I'm going to start off with the... Ooh, the ramen looks... So, let me taste this ramen. Okay, from one ooh. out of ten. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, yeah? This is, yeah, this is it. I got the pork belly with egg and pork belly and ramen, and he got the chicken... Chicken spicy, spicy ramen. These are shrimp tempura. Tell me what you think. Mm. Okay. Put the soup on this side so you don't lean out. Okay, uh, let me do that. Yeah, that way you eat this one. I'm giving it, for me, my ramen is, is a 8.4. like it. It's solid, very solid. Okay. I'm loving it. Mmm. This is a salad with seaweed on top. Yeah, everything's really, um, is this, is this soy sauce? Soy sauce, which one? Soy sauce? Uh, so, yeah, I can grab that. Did you want tamari, low sodium, or regular? Oh, just regular soy sauce is fine. Yeah, thank you. Um, do I have chopsticks? Mm. <laughs> my bad. I'm so I'm German. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Not Appreciate it. Is everything alright so, for you? Yeah, everything's amazing. Fantastic. So this is a brand new experience for us. I've been here once before. But what we ordered this time is a two years ago. Brand new. Yeah, a long time ago. Two years ago. Mm. Wanna, but I want to make up for me being un. Well, wait, I'm out. You gotta press it. Oh, okay. <laughs> press it again, like yeah. Oh snap! Like, okay. Yeah. Like pump it up. Which makes sense. Let me see something. Maybe I could just pump it right on the sushi. Yeah, I Let think you see. can. Um, okay, so I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that. It's okay. <laughs> I got enough to like season it. Mm. Oh, mm. I guess it works when I want it works. He's so strong. <laughs> it works when I want it works, I guess. Look at that. Soy sauce. Well, we gotta try different sauce. You can't be going to a different restaurant and not try the sauce. Mm. What's that for? Um, that's a great question. I, I forgot. Wouldn't what they bring it up with this or with that? With this. Oh, with this. Okay, so yeah, let's let's try it. Yeah. So um, I'm just gonna dip it in that. Yeah, just dip it in that. Let me just move this a little bit. Oh, oh okay. What do you think? I like that. It's like a tangy. Is it like sweet? Tangy? Yeah, but with tangy. Okay. Like citrus. Oh, I think you did too much. I think I have to grab some more. Dip it over here. Grab some more veggies is what I'm saying. Yeah, like grab more veggies with it. There you go. Because it's like a thick sauce. You notice how thick it was when you picked it up? It's good, right? Yeah. Nice, sweet. Very sweet. I like Very that. Very nice. For the sauce, I give it like a, a 9.10. Out of ten, yeah, nine. Very solid. Yeah. Yeah, that's good salad. So it has cucumbers, seaweed, spinach. spinach. What is this one called? That's the spring mix, in a way. Oh, yeah, it is. It is a spring mix. Okay. So they took a spring mix and added seaweed to it. Absolutely. Okay, maybe I can just. So you do like the sauce? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So let me just. I'm just gonna pour it. We could just mix it. That's amazing. Yeah, the shrimp tempura. Yeah. Yeah, that's fish sauce. That I do know. Oh, it's fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Hands down. Good. I'm really enjoying this meal. How's your uh, sushi? It's good. Yeah, it's just um, uh, crunchy salmon and California. Yeah, I got yellowtail. Crunchy yellowtail. Crunchy and yellowtail, and I got spicy, spicy tuna. tuna. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
I've been waiting all day to eat. Would you ever like travel the world and try different Korean and Vietnamese food? Would I ever travel the world and do that? Hell yeah. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah. That's my dream trip. Japan. For oh, like yeah, three Japan. months. Yeah, Japan would be great. But I wanna be with like the locals. Once I get comfortable, like I wanna really Cause when you get like the real good food. Oh yeah. You know like the holes in the wall and stuff. Cause it's different history, the heritage, how they cook and everything. Mm. Right. What's your favorite cuisine? That's hard. <laughs> okay, top wanna, three. I wanna be I don't wanna be biased and say mines, but Japanese will be two. I'm putting Jamaican food three. Okay. Oh, okay, so what's first? Um I'm okay. gonna go, I'm gonna go Italian food. I'm gonna go Italian food. I knew you were gonna say that. I'm going to Italian food. If I had to eat a cuisine for the rest of my life, I would definitely have to go with like the Japanese cuisine. Okay. Because I feel like they have a lot of seafood and a lot of vegetables and a lot of noodles. <laughs> and a lot of rice. There's a lot of things that I haven't experienced. Yeah. So... I'm I wanna try. Salad, bro. I wanna try like I'm, mm. that spice is hitting me right in my throat. But uh I wanna try African food. I wanna oh, try yeah. like those things. Is there an African restaurant out here? Yeah. What is all this on? I know one. Haitian food is real good. I tried their their rice and peas and their uh, their spicy coleslaw. Mmm. It's amazing. Is that spicy? Well, it's not spicy. It's because the the pepper hitting me right in my throat. But I'm saying overall, it's not too spicy. No, it's not too spicy. Mm. Not at all. I love ginger, so that's a piece of ginger. Uh oh. Somebody's in trouble. I hope they're okay, whatever's going on. This is what I want to do literally for the rest of my life. I want to go to different restaurants, try new foods. I agree. And just enjoy new experiences. I mm. agree. And not be biased on different foods, because I, I wanted to try it. I'll try everything at least once. I can't say I'll like it, but I'll try it. Right. Yeah. Filipino food is good. Haitian food is good. Colombian, Dominican, I've eaten all that. Yeah, I go to like Mexican food and all that. It's really good too. But uh, I never try Dominican food. Dominican? Haven't, mm -mm, haven't tried it. Mm. I think you'll like tried, it. I tried Peruvian food. How's that? It was actually really good. Mm. It was actually really good. We had to go to a Mexican place at Dos Ceviche. Mm. Yeah. Like the one I had went to with... Um, Real deal ceviche. Yeah. Like that Mexican ceviche. Yeah. I tried, I tried the Peruvian ceviche. It's really good. Oh, yeah. I've had Peruvian ceviche, yeah. That's when I fell in love bomb. with ceviche. Yeah? Like, yeah. That's the first ceviche I had. I'm like, oh, my God. you remember it? Yeah. Remember good. it like it was yesterday. Because it was a restaurant right in Aventura. Oh, yeah. It. Aventura has really nice restaurants because they're so bougie. Right. Mm. They put me on that ceviche. Oh yeah, you killed that. You ain't playing. 
you not plan. I was so hungry. That's your first meal, right? And I wanted to eat something that I didn't want to. I didn't want to feel guilty about eating it. Because I was really talking about wanting to go back to the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> right. And it's so, because it's so quick and fast. Mm. This is so good, though. The broth is good. Now I'm going to try the actual ramen ramen. Let's see what it do. Okay. Mm. Yeah. What is this? Oh my God, that's garlic. Yeah, he's, they said garlic. I'm gonna put some on there. Don't double dip, y'all. Okay. Yeah, taste your ramen. Let me know. So my broth got all sucked up by the noodles. <laughs> I'm here tearing up this sushi. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. You know what it made me feel like? What? <laughs> Going to sleep. <laughs> good night, y'all. Good guess I'm warming your stomach, huh? Yeah. Yep. It just feels like holiday food. Yeah, it's weird. It get, it's getting closer to that winter time, you know? It really does, yeah. I am a fan of sushi, boy. I want to try all the different unique type of ramen they have. If they like do. Like the different uh, noodle types? Oh yeah, there's yeah. all kind of different ones. Because it depends on who's making it. Some people make it from scratch. How come you don't eat pork? Or beef. It's a long story. So, long story short, I used to eat pork and beef when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess I wanted to be like my cousins that's on my mom's side of the family, and because they, they were they were vegetarians, mm. and I stopped eating meat. Oh, all together. On, all together, on my ninth year of high school. That's good food. It was like a little chilly out, but the minute you start eating like Anytime the warm you eat, soup, right. it just feels so good. Anytime you eat soup or drink some nice tea, when it's cold out, it's always mm -hmm. good. This is really good. Yes, it is. I am satisfied. You finished all your sushi too? Yep. It's like a good amount. It was. It was a good amount of food. I was gonna sit inside, but it was really dark and the sun was starting to set and I was like, yeah, it's yeah, gonna be gotta... too dark with the video. This, this is, is perfect lighting right oh, here. Yeah. Best lighting. Let me see. Yeah. 637. Yeah. Oh, man. This is good. Yeah. It's well needed. Can I use that napkin right there? Mm-hmm. I think I needed this ramen day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I got the idea from the Snapchat you sent me. Oh, yes, yes. That that area. Mm -hmm. They never hit me up, by the way. Oh, you reached out to them? Yeah. Oh, okay. When I was doing the Uber Eats, and, um, I was like, hey, we could, we could do an eating show. They should have, they, they told me to write down my content information and everything, but 
Yeah, those messages ever get passed on to the ma the people that made the calls. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's the real deal places right there. They actually make the sushi right in front of you. And oh yeah. Yeah. Most sushi bars do. It's very weird that they don't. That's part of their showmanship. Right. Yeah, you ate that. Much needed. Yeah, I definitely feel satisfied. I love, absolutely love the holidays. I keep saying that, but from my birthday up until January, those are very happy days for me. Probably because I create the whole ambience for myself. Like, oh my God, it's the holidays. Because there's like no decorations when you look outside, really. Not where we're at right now. Right. They usually do it the last minute or closer to... They do it when it's too late. Yeah. Absolutely. They do it when it's too late. Absolutely. Oh, mine was really good. I like that. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. Like, yeah, let me drink some water. Guaranteed. So you prefer ramen or spaghetti? Ramen all day. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I like the, the actual culture. I don't know if it's Vietnamese or Korean, how they do, who does ramen. But uh, it's Japanese. It's most Japanese, obviously. But there's different type of ramen. I would love to eat different countries' ramen. Yeah, they have all kind of different. When I went to San Francisco, there was this little... Chinese town. Chinatown, right? Yeah, but there's like this little hole in the wall. I mean, it was like, it looked so dingy. Really? All black, like just, it, it looked like they didn't even keep it up, but it was very clean. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like it was rustic, old looking, I, I just beat up paint, chipping from the wall. Like people putting their pictures up, just ratchet, but immaculately clean. So it, wow. it's like, a, yeah, it was like a mind, a mind twist right there. But then when you walk in, Everybody's just lying. I mean, the line was literally around the corner, so I wanted to know what the hype was. So right. obviously I passed the whole line. I'm like, let me just look in this restaurant. Being all nosy. When I tell you they was back there like throwing noodles around, it was a whole show. Oh, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. And everybody would just sit there, eat real fast, and then leave. Eat real fast, and then leave. Because they were rotating the people around. So it was like speed eating. You could do to-go and stuff, but the people that were, it was kind of like, I'm on my like, lunch break, yeah, I gotta yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, like, gotta let me go. just eat real quick, yeah. Right, right, right. But the food was really, really good. I'll never that forget that amazing. little bus, yeah. That sounds amazing. Something I really want to like, definitely do and travel and try different foods. I'm full. I'm gonna have one last little. It's awesome. Yeah, cucumber here. And I'm going to check out, my belly is, you know, I'm, what is this? It's. Perfectly clear. It looks yeah, like it's clear and it very, looks like clear honey, but watery. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I'm like what is this? Like it's, I almost want to ask. It's very addicting. For a salad dressing, very addicting. I like how light it is. Right. Makes sense. You good? Oh yeah. Satisfied? You guys, thank you so yeah. much for joining us and another Nina already eats. This is Patrick Blackwood. You guys like, share, subscribe, comment, enjoy the holidays, live happy. Absolutely. Like for real, live happy, take your time to, you know, Cherish visit new moment. places. Yeah, especially that, right? Cherish the moment, even the process, share the process. Because yeah. during the times of, I was going through my own process, I wasn't cherishing the process, so. You became miserable. Right, and you gotta understand that, you gotta be grateful of the moment that you do have, and the roof over your head, you're paying your bills and everything else, and everything's gonna fall into place. Yeah. So, cherish the moment. For real. And spend time with people that actually make you feel good. Absolutely. People that uplift you, encourage you, motivate you. Um, the people that are gonna call you out on your bullshit, keep those people around. Absolutely. There's a lot of gaslighting, a lot of bullshitters, a lot of people that can't honor their commitments. You wanna surround yourself with genuinely good people. And I learned that the hard way, personally. Um, so kudos to you for being a good person. Oh, Boom. me too. He's growing daily. I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of him. And I'm growing daily too. So am I. Until next time. Anything else? Bye, guys.